the medications that I'm on, but, you know, I always gotta keep going to the doctor, going to the doctor to keep these medications, you know, going. It's just ridiculous, and a money maker for these, for these doctors or whatever they are. Anyway, but, so yeah, I'm okay with that, but, um, I don't wanna, I need to make more money. <laughs> I gotta make more money, and a lot of it. Because when you don't have much, uh, people attack you the most, <laughs> which makes no sense. Because it's and they try to take your money. Like what? You don't barely have money yet. They want to take your money. You know, this is the country I live in, the U.S. Here, they're trying to take everything from me. My insurance, which I really need. That's all I really need is my insurance because it's expensive here for medical care. You know, so. People that cause me these conditions, uh, they, they they get away stop free, you know. Whatever they do, um, it's fine. I'm, I'm not. I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to resent anybody. You know, I just this. Thing. I can't. I need to. I need to reinvent myself and um, be more peaceful and forgiving, I guess, with others around me. But. You know, other than that, um, uh, when I went to the therapist yesterday, I guess, for an intake, even though they want to pretend like I wasn't there, like, look, I've been here year, a couple, not even that many years ago, and I was, I was being, um, I, I had group therapy and everything, and I've been, been there many times, so, and they're like, oh, well, we don't have those records anymore, it's somewhere, like, underneath uh buried in in some other department now i'm like wow okay so how am i supposed to prove my case at all if you have my medical records it's really nothing makes sense i couldn't even obtain my domestic violence records from the police like there's some law that it, it doesn't make any sense what's going on <laughs> I, I mean they did I don't want to think the world's against me, but it kind of is, you know, like, I'm not paranoid. Weird stuff has been happening in the past two years. This is not just for me. I mean, many people have been suffering and nobody believes them because the way that they do it is so underhanded and, you know, it's a narcissistic way of doing things. And you know how they are, like, they are built to get away with shit and put it on other people. So, I don't know. Uh, this is what happened. <laughs> the, my parents, well for them, they've been divorced for many years. Uh, my mother mostly raised me with the step parents or whatever that was. And uh, so my father basically was not much in the picture unless I was the one to go and visit him. So anyway, uh, but now, for some reason, they are linking up more than usual. Um, you know, he buys her things and they, 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 it's just disgusting because like when, when children was supposed to be raised is when they, they, they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> Literally. Now they're all together and like they're friends, they're old friends, they're old friends or whatever. It's just disgusting to me and it irritates me to be around them. So, uh, we had a fight because uh, I was there. I, I can't be there, but I'm there. You know, I don't know how to explain this. Because I gotta start my life over from somewhere. I can't be in the streets homeless. So, again, I mean, you know, start over again. I was never in the streets. But, so, so yeah, so they are, they linked up together for my mother's birthday. And uh, he bought her a lavish freaking cake, one of the expensive good ones from New York. And, um, and like, just overdid himself. And um, they ended up, uh, what happened? Oh, I dropped the cup on the floor. And mind you, this is a plastic cup and it bounced right off of the, uh, not marble. It was like tile. Oh, there's a big dog in there by himself. Anyway, 
um so it bounced off the tile a few times <laughs> it, was, it was a few times so it made a lot of noise and i'm like uh oh and then i looked at it, i was like oh great the cup thank god this cup is plastic right i said out loud and then she comes out and goes with a real nasty like vengeful attitude like I don't go to your places that you stay in, and, and I don't go to your house and throw your stuff around. Why are you throwing my fucking things all over the place? This isn't the first time you've been throwing things, and 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 and, and you have and, and something kept going on and on and getting like more vicious and, and sounding and angry about it. And I'm like, whoa, what is your problem? No, the freaking cup just bounced. And then, it, and then she's like, well, you just threw it in the sink. And then this and that. I'm like, no, I didn't. Actually, I put it in the rack over there. That's what made the noise that I put it on. So I'm trying to explain myself of what I did not do, which I really can't stand with these people. And uh, I just, I completely flipped on her and um, I told her to go fuck herself. And, and um, quite a few things that uh, maybe I regret some of it, maybe not. But she deserved it, and um, you know, I I I just got triggered into my uh, mode of being, <laughs> which you don't want to mess with me when I'm like that. She already knows. She likes triggering that. She loves triggering the anger out of me when I'm trying to be peaceful and and happy and positive at all times. So so anyway, so then my father was there and he started in on it. And he dares, oh, okay, this was what really triggered me to get very angry and almost homicidal to hurt them because I'm sick of them both. And then she goes, no, he goes, you know, eh, don't, don't start with her. Stop it. And, and, um, you know how she is a little nutty. And I'm like, whoa, what did you just say? What did you just say to, about me? And then, uh, and then I went off on him. I said, who the fuck are you? Like, I don't even, you don't, you're not, you're not even a father. You're not even, and to her, she's not even a mother. Um, I'm a little nutty. I don't think so. And then I kind of went off on them. <laughs> so it looks like I am kind of nutty, which, you know, whatever. But uh, this is what the narcissist does, triggers, triggers my aggression. And I swear to God, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a, a restraining order on you because, and report your ass, cause I'm tired of the shit. So, you know, that, it went badly. So I was fighting both of them at once cause I really have a hatred for them, like a strong hatred. And I try to be nice about it and like, cause they never admit anything that they've done to me and, or, and let other people do. And they pretend like nothing happened and no, no, this didn't happen. That Oh, you're imagining it. And then, you know, treating me poorly at all, most times. So of course I'm gonna be, uh, I, I reach my limit, you know? And, um, and then, and then, it ended bad because then my dad was telling me off and cursing me out and he's like, some shit. And then after that, he pretended like it never happened. Didn't apologize or anything, but pretended like it didn't even happen, that whole big blowout. And um, so that's what they do usually. Um, and then I bought my my dad's dog or whatever he usually he doesn't even take care of it he usually leaves it at my mother's house um so i bought my dad's dog one of those collars what is it a collar because he lost his so i bought him a collar and also i bought him a like a t-shirt thing like a doggy t-shirt you know one of those cute ones and then and then she goes out the ne very next day and buys a, a, a t-shirt for the dog and also buys a collar. And not only that, and then I just saw, them, saw him today with the collar on. I'm like, where's the collar I bought him? I just bought him the collar. And, and this is what the fucking narcissist does. Everything that I do, they have to one-up me like, like little children and they think no one notices the shit. The same thing my ex-husband does. Anything I buy my kids, okay, I, I bought my kids um, Valentine's Day stuff. So 
I bought my son a, like, a, like a dinosaur with a heart. It's like a stuffed animal thing and candy and things. Um, and I bought my daughter like a monkey and the same thing with candy and chocolates. And then I put it in a box and my mother saw me doing that. And then she goes the same day, I think, goes and buys a, a, a bigger, go, goes and gets a bigger box and, and gets valentine's day stuff which she wasn't even gonna do any of that until i you know until she saw my box and then she sends her box out i'm like this is not it's, i just laugh at it because it's so obvious and um whatever and then once the package got there which mine happened to go um get there first anyway i, I don't care about that um so then, my son, uh, my, my son and my daughter, they call me, say how, how, you know, they liked it and all that, and appreciate it. And then the next day, their father goes out. The next day, their father goes out and buys a similar gift to what I bought them, and then my son sends me a picture of it, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you know this is what they do it's like they're the same person they're the same exact this is how i know they both have the same disorder so you know i don't care it bothers me because it bothers me because i wish these people were adults these people are older than me they should know better like what have they been doing their whole lives <laughs> sitting uh oh just sitting like uh deteriorating their minds away because that's what it fucking looks like these fucking narcissists like what the fuck's wrong with them um ooh, they almost hit that snow plow did they no they didn't hit that a lot of things anyway sorry um so it's very comical but not really because it's like they want to it, the imitation is a fucking what's that line from uh, Drake the imitation's a form of flattery or something but that's just annoying but that's just annoying me something like that from one of Drake new songs anyway so it's like uh listen um it's not a mystery that you, what you're doing like if anyone else doesn't see it i don't give two shits about it i know these people another thing my mother was uh for a few days i think like two or three days watching some uh spanish broadcast um on how to make which is a puerto rican dish my, my mother's italian not puerto rican uh well i'm puerto rican my dad's puerto rican so she 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 bar she barely ever makes Spanish food or anything, right? So, and specifically, this is a Puerto Rican dish that is like a specialty thing, especially on holidays, which is called pasteles. And <laughs> it's not that easy to make either. It's kind of like a whole day event. So she was practicing, like she was watching videos for three days on how to make it. And the people that were... um the people that were uh, making it were speaking in Spanish and I was just listening to her in the room and I'm like what are you doing um this is in Spanish you know that right <laughs> and I don't even know maybe my mom knows Spanish because she speaks Italian so I mean they're Latin it's a Latin language sometimes the the words are similar anyway so whatever that's not it she 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 was learning how to make pasteles and I'm like what the hell she never made this before in my life and I'm Puerto Rican, my brother's Puerto Rican, my dad's Puerto Rican. She never made it before. And she started um, doing research on how to make it. And then she was making it. And I'm like, what are you doing? It's, what are you doing? Like, I didn't even want to ask really further. Because I kind of had a suspicion on it. Because I know that my sister has either a friend or a boyfriend. We're not sure. That's Puerto Rican and Dominican. And uh, my mother... The way that she is, anyone who has a boyfriend or a friend that's a male, she wants to uh, steal the attention, steal the attention for herself, okay, from any man. And it's disgusting because it's like your daughter's boyfriend or friend, like, like, 
Oh, I can't stand her. Anyway, so so she's um. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, my dad, sometimes she does make Spanish dishes for my dad when he comes over. And especially now that she's like, she has less supply than she usually would. And she, you know, they recycle their supplies and people, or, you know, they think of them as objects. So anyway, so she's, I thought she was doing that for my dad or, and I, like my, my sister's friend or boyfriend, whatever he is. I was pretty sure that she was doing it for him. I'm like, oh, she's got her eyes set on this guy, okay? She's going to try to impress him by making this specialty meal that only Puerto Ricans uh, usually make it traditionally, okay? So, like, that's so obvious. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, yep, yep, this is what she's doing. She did this with my other sister's boyfriend. And she's doing it with this one now. But my other sister's boyfriend is Irish. So so she'd be making some Irish foods like cabbage and shit. I don't know. I don't eat that crap. Anyway, so no offense. I, I don't like Irish traditional foods. Um, so, so, so guess what? I was right. Oh, I was fucking right. Because uh, she did make it. My dad did end up coming. So it was like a two for it right there. My dad ate it, of course. I ate it, of course. And my brother, because we love that. Uh, you know, we're all Puerto Rican. And so, and I'm thinking, well, I don't know. She made quite a bit of this. And it was a lot. And I'm like, there's no way. She must have gave it to that kid. To that guy um, that my sister's either a boyfriend or friends with. And exactly what happened. He came over yesterday and was very... Um, thankful to her oh thank you for making those i can't believe you know how to make that wow you know all that attention on her and it's just a fucking that's all they want they want all the attention on themselves at any cost and i knew exactly what was going on you could these people these narcissists are predictable once you figure them out okay so i was right about that anyway so um yeah that's kind of disgusting and um yeah I just I can't stand her the most <laughs> anyway so that that is all I wanted to talk about really um it's just like a waste I'm not buying the dogs anything anymore I'm not buying anyone shit no more now cause they're just gonna one up me and buy something else that's how you know it's a narcissist you're dealing with. Seriously, there's so many easy ways to figure them out. All right, so anyway, um, thanks for listening. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And please comment to encourage the videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.